and we'll go ahead and we'll open up Internet Explorer. And we'll pull up a movie here. We'll pull up a show here once it loads. And we'll stream a little Saturday Night Live, why don't we? In classic Hulu fashion, it's a little slow. Try the first great tasting, zero calorie, natural sweetener, born from the leaves of the stevia plant. Truvia, honestly sweet. Find it at your grocery store. pop it out in a separate window that way I can make the screen as big as possible and tax the CPU as much as I can because at full screen you, you, you can't bop back and see what the CPU usage is And Hulu is another one of those places where it depends on the show. Some shows are clearer than others. Some shows are more grainier. Um, depending on the way they're encrypted and the way they're being fed by Hulu, they could be one could be better or less. I've even seen them use one show use more CPU than the other. So it, uh, there isn't any consistency. You can see we're about 30% CPU, roughly. What we'll do is we'll play one more video. We'll do something that is going to be media player. We'll do something that is H.264, 1080p. We'll do this one here. This is a demo video. This is a 1080p video, MKV. Streaming from my server. As you can see, this thing plays full 1080p video files, no problem. And if you want, we'll uh, pull up one more. We'll pull up something that's a little bit. Let's uh, twit. Let's see. Here's an HD Nation video that's at 720p. <laughs> And as you can see, it's pretty damn near full screen, and I'm at, well, not full screen. This is Windows Media Player, no less. And I'm at 13% CPU. Should we talk about 
Okay, this is Windows Media Player Classic playing it. I got both of them rolling at one time here. I got two videos rolling at one shot here, and I'm at 40% CPU. So, and look at that. Here's an, a full HD video running at 17% CPU on there. Look at that. You can't get any nicer than that. So, there you go. That's pretty much putting it through the riggers right there. Um, and if you want, we can go to Control Panel and we can look at uninstall programs real quick. And you can see right here that basically I've got Flash Player 10X uh, and then Plugin 10, uh, which is the release candidate. If I go back to uh, details, you can see here ActiveX 10. And eh, let's go back to details. See, it's 10.1.53.21, and which is both going to be the release candidate versions, both the ActiveX and the plugins. So, and you can see I got 33 programs installed. So that's what's going on here on the Revo as far as what's installed on it. Um, see, it's the 36.10. It's the two gigabytes, 64-bit operating system. Home, um, you know, you can see right there what's going on with it. So, as you can see, it works pretty darn good for me. It should work pretty good for you. Uh, the IN twos are coming out uh, this spring in 2010, so uh, that or or um, that should set you up pretty good. Anything like this is going to be way superior to say an Apple TV. So. There you have it. Take a look at it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Sat through my commentary and uh, get Boxy Beta and Acer Revo or any Atom Ion machine, and you should have some good times with your HD TV and save on your cable bill too. All right.